right, here's the uh, Saturday happenings. Um, anybody who's followed along here, I most definitely did not buy a Harbor Freight gantry crane that's rated for two tons. <coughs> that doesn't say Pittsburgh. That says, like, I don't know, some American lift company's name. The camera just makes it look like it says Pittsburgh. And then I also certainly did not um, completely discard the uh, small beam here. I didn't, I didn't discard that. And I definitely did not go buy a bigger beam. Um, and the reason I didn't do that is because the uh, clearance in between the rails on the uh, lift uh, was 93 inches and the bus 96 inches outside of the tires. So I needed at least eight foot, um, which this didn't have. So I did not go buy a taller beam that's rated for more weight to uh, modify this to make it span. And I also did not opt to not use these casters because I'm on a dirt floor. And I did not buy these casters, which are solid rubber. They're not pneumatic, they're solid rubber. They're rated for like, uh, I think they were 600 pounds a piece. So um, none of this happened. None of this happened. All of this is legit. Um, so anyways, I kind of forgot how this thing was mounted. Um, I went the way that it was sitting down on the ground. I couldn't really crawl around and see how it was mounted. Uh, I got a four by six here supporting the bed. So, uh, safety first. Um, but now I see I can just take those four bolts out, take those four bolts out. I'm assuming that this pin slides in like there's a little... I'm assuming there's a little gap in here where these can slide in and go past the frame rail because I don't really want to take the hoist out and the bed at the same time because uh, this thing's only rated for 2,000 pounds. Um, one ton. The trolley is rated for two tons. The chain hoist is rated for three tons. But the casters are rated for just a little bit over one ton. So um, I'm not sure how heavy this bed is. Um, I'm sure it's got some weight to it. It's five quarter oak, I think. So anyways, the plan is I'll drop this thing back down, take these four bolts out, um, hopefully pull these pins through, and then probably break those bolts loose on the frame. Those are the only ones holding it to the frame there. Then I should be able to lift the whole bed up, and I'm hoping to push it back to the back wall set it down so the front's sitting on the frame and the back is sitting on the ground and then maybe lift this thing up and just lean it up against the shop leave it up against that six by six post um that's the idea and if i can do that then i can just pick the hoist up out of it um and that's done and then got a little bit more room to start working on cab stuff so hopefully tomorrow taking mama to dinner today tonight so hopefully tomorrow um motivated start to maybe maybe get this cab off get the chassis pulled out and if i'm feeling feeling real motivated cut the back section of the frame off so it fits in the shop better it only it's only like two foot short no not even that it's like six inches short if i push the bumper at the back wall the front end's like six inches short from closing the door so anyways i'm gonna probably just lock off right behind the axle so I don't any of that anyways i can go away knock this thing in there and uh start to see start to see how the cab works what yeah no idea so here we are probably do a little video update tomorrow show a little bit more progress but one step at a time
was almost too easy. I didn't even have to use power tools. Well, that's that. That's nice. That takes a lot of weight off of the uh, off the box. Said so makes it a more balanced. I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to this guy, whoever this is right here. No, no. That's that. Ah, uh, OSHA doesn't approve. So, couldn't push it. It's pretty freaking heavy. So, I ended up just doing a come along on the pole, uh, just tug one side, tug the other. Dirt is uh, clearly not the optimal foundation to do this on either. <clears throat> I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to stand this thing up, man. 14 foot isn't it yeah it's 14 foot so it uh it wouldn't touch the rafters up there but it'd be pretty dang close um actually i guess i could stand it up if i set it back down set it back down and cat caught it just past center the whole thing would tilt up then maybe i could come along tight to the wall Yeah, there ain't nothing safe about this. Okay. See what happens, I guess. I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna put this end down on the truck <clears throat> so that it's already kind of at an angle. It'll be at the wrong angle that I want though, isn't it? Yep, it will be. And I can't turn it because too wide. Dang, that sucks. Hmm. Interesting. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I need a bigger shop already. I don't even have this one built yet. I need a bigger shop. Well, I guess, uh, I guess I'm going to set it down on the bed, set it down on the frame, get that far end down on the ground, unhook all the chains, hook the chains up just to the one side just past center and that should be able to get me to lift this thing up at an angle and then we'll come along the rest of the way and see what happens i guess i don't know i mean that's kind of what i'm going for i guess somebody put this damn truck in the way so freaking close if i could clear that frame this end would drop down that end would go up push it to the wall lean it against the post call it done Ugh. 
I wasn't even planning on doing this today. What am I doing? All I wanted to do is get an I-beam. That's it. Get an I-beam and get a plan for the gantry crane. Now here I am, look at this. Okay, whatever. I think I'm gonna, there's not a lot of weight on this side of the bed. Yeah, there is. I think I'm gonna try to pull this truck forward. I can drag it forward a couple feet. Hopefully without tipping the crane over, get it to clear the frame. I think we're in decent shape at that point. Okay, well, that's the idea. This thing's super easy to push when there's no weight on it. Anyways, <coughs> uh, take that last foot out of that thing, I think. Out of that chain hoist. And then that would get the top of this up a little higher. And we'll drag it to the wall, lean it up against the wall, and that should buy us a few feet of room to do our thing. <laughs> 